Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Stop Sign by Beyonce. And we're going to start on a G major chord, and when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now through the song, though, you may want to think about another G voicing, where you kind of put the third finger on the B string third fret, and the pinky on the high E string. And that's another way you can kind of play the G major. And then from the G, we're going to be going with an A minor chord in our verses. And the way you play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger goes to the D on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. The way you play C major, for all you really have to do is third finger is going to go from the G string second to the A string on the third. So now you got first finger on the B string, first fret, second finger on the D string, second, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And that's called C major. Now another C major you may want to think about through the song is something called C major 9, where you do your first finger on the D string, second fret, second finger on the A string, third, third finger on the B string on the third fret, and then pinky on the high E string. And that's called C major 9. So you may want to think about using that for, for your C chord. And then for the C, from the C, we go to a D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret. Second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And that's basically our verse progression through the song. It's kind of that G, A minor, C major, D major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took that progression and just kind of tried it. You'd have G, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. You kind of forward that kind of slow through the tune. Now something else that, that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, of the down, down, up, up, down, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the G chord, you'd have a low E string for your bass, down, up, up, down. And on the A minor, you'd have an A string for your bass. On the C, you'd have the A string for the bass. And on the D, you'd have the D string for the bass. So you know, I think I've got like, kind of working that as kind of a bass. Down, up, up, down, A minor with an A bass. Down, up, up, down, up, C with an A bass. Down, up, up, down, D with a D bass. Down, up, up, down, up. Now another strum pattern I think about using through the song too is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the G and do a down for four, one, two, First beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So all together, you got down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. down, down, up, down. like is like little arpeggios of the chord. What an arpeggio is is where you take the chord and then you break it up with, with the different strings. So you may want to kind of play around with that idea of kind of breaking up and playing individual strings. 
strings and sometimes it can sound really good to kind of start on your bass note and then kind of work around the chord after that bass note. From there, then we'll be going into our chorus part. And our chorus, we start on the G major, but then we go to an E minor chord. And when we play E minor, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger goes to the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an like E minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now you may also want to think about using something like E minor 7, where you take your third finger and add it in on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string on the third fret, and that sounds E minor 7, so you may want to think about the E minor. And then we go to C major, and then a D major, and we almost start that over again. G major, E minor, C major, D major, and then from there then we go to an A minor chord, but then we go to a G major chord, but it almost sounds like something called G slash B, where you'd have the A string for, for kind of your bass on the G chord. It's called a G chord, but it's got a B in the bass, so we call it G slash B. And then we go to C major with kind of our whole strum pattern. We're gonna end up kind of halving an A minor and a G, and then a C, and then a D at the very end. So we could kind of work that as kind of our down, down, up, up, down, up, and we have G with a kind of a down, down, up on each chord. E minor, C, D, G, E minor, C, D, A minor, G slash B. would have our low E string for the bass. And on the A minor, you'd have the A string for your bass. The G slash B would have the A string for the bass. So we try to add basses with that. We had a G with the bass. Now E minor with the low E bass. Now C with an A bass. Now D with a D bass. Now G with the low E bass. Now E minor with the low E bass. Now C with an A bass. Now D with a D bass. Now A minor with an A bass. Now G slash B with an A bass. Now C with an A bass. Now up, up, down. A minor with an A bass. Now G slash B with an A bass. Now C with an A bass. Now D with a D we could kind of work our 16th pattern and on the halving parts so you might want to think about just doing kind of a down 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 you know, that first part of the strum pattern so we have g with a down 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 e minor down 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 c down 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 d down 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 g down 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 e minor c d a minor g slash b back through our chorus until we get to our bridge part. And on our bridge we start on E minor, and then we go to C major, and then we go back to E minor, and then we go to C major, but then we go to a G major, and we kind of have the G with, with kind of a D major chord, but you kind of hear it has like an F sharp in the bass, and it's called D slash F sharp. One way to play that chord is to kind of do, do the first finger on the low E string second fret, Second finger on the G string, second fret. Third finger on the high E, second fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that's a D chord, but it's got an F sharp in the bass on the low E string. Now another way to play that is to play the regular D and use your thumb for that low E string second note. Another possibility would be something called D sus slash F sharp, where you do your first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. And that's called D sus slash F sharp. And then from there we go to E minor, and then C, and then we end up on, on kind of our whole pattern on a C chord, whole pattern on a D chord. So we try that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have E minor down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, E 
our 16th pattern at E minor. Down, down, up. of how you can strum through Stop Sign by Beyonce. So good luck!